Welcome to my channel. It's Duty Addict 615 and I am back with a blended beauty haul. I've got a couple of things that I picked up from Ulta. A birthday gift from one of my tribe sisters and I also have an item that I picked up at TJ Maxx and we're going to cover it all during this video. So to jump right in, the first item that I picked up is a vitamin C serum from the brand Alginus. It is their genius line and if you are familiar with this line then you know that there are very few things that start less than $100. This particular vitamin C I believe retails for $118 and I found it at TJ Maxx in the clearance section for $16. Yes, you heard me correct. $16. It's usually $108 or $118. So I thought that it was a steal. <clears throat> Even with the Sephora VIB sale and me being Rouge getting 20% off, still wouldn't have given me the $16 price tag. So I'm interested in trying out this vitamin C. I just ended a new vitamin or ended a bottle of vitamin C this morning. So I am interested in trying this one to see if it is worth the healthy price tag of $100 plus dollars. I do plan on keeping it in my beauty fridge so that I can extend the shelf life of this product once I open it. But based on the packaging, it is airtight and um, it's sealed and covered so that there's not a lot of light that's going to be able to get through here to oxidize the product. So I feel like even without the beauty fridge, it would stay stabilized. So this is the first item um, in my haul. The next item is a restock of an item that I picked up from Ulta. So first off, my uh, biological sister, my baby sister actually introduced me to this brand because she was using their toners. And I went home one weekend and saw her complexion and I was like, what are you using on your face? And as soon as she told me, I immediately got on my phone and ordered because I needed it. Well, I can have continued to explore that brand and mm, year and a half, two years ago, I was in TJ Maxx or Marshalls and found an Exuviance product <clears throat> and it was their Illuminating Oxygen Facial. And I used that product and fell in love with it. If you have ever been to a spa and had an Oxygen Facial and know what your skin looks and feels like after it has been infused with oxygen during that spa treatment, Exuviance has figured out how to do that with a facial product. And that <clears throat> is where these come in. So my tribe sister, Brina1971, sent out a group text saying, hey, <clears throat> for those of you that like the Exuvians product, make sure you're on the Ulta app. They are having a 40% off sale and I about broke my phone trying to get signed into the app. And I decided that I would go ahead and pick up bottle three and bottle four because this is a staple. What takes this over the top? I mean, it's a great product just by itself, but I have been putting it on over the last three weeks and then using my facial steamer and it puffs up like the Michelin tire man and all of that foam and then I let it dissipate and my skin is so much more smoother and radiant than even when it op it's by itself. So this is absolutely amazing. It is not a cheap product, but to get it at an additional 40% off, I could not pass up the opportunity to restock. Um, the bottles will, uh, again, you'll see these showing up in my haul it, but how was it or my empties videos. But this was the uh, next product um, that I purchased from Ulta. Uh, next is a super retinol concentrate. I have been on a retinol kick and um, I've been trying to find some of the best of the best. I have one or two that I have tried, used, emptied and will not purchase again because I don't think they yielded any results. And then I have my go-to. Um, but I hadn't tried one from Exuviance and they have a super retinol concentrate. So I am interested in giving this one a try. It is, um, it says that it's a unique nighttime trans transformer supercharges 
the proven power of retinol and neoglossamine and delivers a gradual time release infusion of pure 0.2% retinol in a micro encapsulated form to minimize irritation. Um, lots of fancy words. It's not about um, what the words say on the box. It's about how my face looks in the morning. Um, so I am interested in applying, um, trying this one to see how it competes with what has become my go-to retinol, which is the Drunk Elephant version, <clears throat> the Apersoni. So that is the next item. Interested in giving it a try to see how it again compares. The next item is something that I didn't need, but I don't have, so I wanted to give it a try, and it is the Daily Concepts Guasa Jade Tool. I'm interested in keeping this in my beauty fridge to see if um, when I am uh, doing my little pamper days, if I can do this um, guasa technique for facial massaging and lymphatic drainage and help it with deep puffiness and all of that stuff. So considering I was already qualified for free shipping <clears throat> and this was on sale um, just on the Ulta website in general, I'm trying to get it out so I can show you, I decided I would go ahead and put it in this order. I have been looking at Guasa tools and I decided it was time for me to pull the trigger and here it is. And there are tons of videos on YouTube and tons of shorts and, you know, things on Instagram. I need to clean this before I use it. But contouring, lymphatic drainage, massage. So there are just all kinds of things that you can do with a guasa tool to help improve and elevate your beauty routine so uh, pick that one up and it's by the daily concepts brand and it does tout that it's real jade the next item is a restock of an item that i have been using for like two plus decades and it is the nail tech crystal full size nail file I picked up a couple of nail files during the body shop sale and they are small, compact, great for on the go, but they still are not the same kind of crystal that nail tech um, infuses or builds its files out of. This is a soft nail file. If you were um, wearing your natural nails, if your nails split or peel, this is the nail file. I keep one in my purse. I keep one in my uh, little uh, pedicure manicure kit. There's one in my bathroom vanity. There's one um, at my desk here at home because if I'm in a conference call or in a meeting or if I got a, a nail that's starting to peel, I keep one handy. <clears throat> and I keep one in my purse. It's broken, so I am likely going to replace it with this one. These were on sale. They're not inexpensive when you think about the cost of an old school emery board, but last so much longer and so much better for your nails. And this can be washed and reused over and over and over again. So I decided to pick one of those up. The next item is something that I'm completely not familiar with, but I read enough of the details to decide I was going to try it. And it is by the brand Sweet Spot Labs. And it is a butt buff and brighten um, body exfoliation pad. So when I think about exfoliation for my face, when I think about um, exfoliating towels, when I think about um, like discoloration or hair bumps or shaving irritation. Sometimes the skin gets irritated and doesn't quite fully bounce back to the brightness that it once had. Or it start you start to get what might be referred to as like chicken skin or strawberry legs or something like that. So this is supposed to help clear that up. Not familiar with the brand, definitely familiar with the concept because it's similar to the Alpha Beta Peels from the Dr. Dennis Gross line, but this is for the body. 
So I thought that I would start with a relatively inexpensive version because I don't have it bad. Um, but if this doesn't work, then I can always switch to the Dr. Dennis Gross because he recently released body peels. But I thought considering the price, this was less than 10 bucks for how many pads are in here? I want to say it's 60 pads, 50 pads. I figured I'd give that a try. So I'll update you and let you know whether or not this was worth the spin. The next two items are also a little extra because I'm extra. Um, they are the Exuviance um, eye mask. And I don't have, I haven't tried these. I love everything that I have tried from this brand. They had these boxes of 12. Um, yeah, so 12 in each box of iPads. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to see how they compare to the ones that I have from Tatcha and the ones that I have bought over and over again from Elemis. Let me see what their um, eye masks are like. I'm trying to get the box open here so I can show you. Um, so I'm going to stick these in the beauty fridge, let them chill, and see how they work out. I can definitely feel the two pads in the pack. And you just tear and then of course they um, lay under the contour of the eye so I bought two boxes of these because with the 40% off sale um, and the points that I had I was able to get both of these for what one of the boxes would have cost had there not been a promotion going on so that's where these come in and then the very last item is actually a birthday gift from uh, one of my tribe sisters, Phenomenal Personality, and it is the Lorac Pro Palette, and this is the Noir. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see. There we go. Noir Palette. I fell in love with this palette um, after watching a makeup artist do an amazing um, look on a model on YouTube. And I just thought that it would make for the perfect on the go, pretty small, but very neutral, wearable, everyday eye palette. And here is, got a mirror there in the top, but here is how it comes with all of the names across the top and then when you lift let's see here so I can get this up this will be my first time seeing it other than the pictures and videos online so I'm excited to get this open all right Whew, a little sticker let's see all right, and so there is the actual palette. So very wearable, everyday, got some highlighters, some smokies, some shimmers, some mattes, um, got your glitters. So I'm really excited to give this one a try. It's been several years since I purchased anything from Lorac. I was way into them back in the day when they were doing... Um, you know, palette releases on a more regular basis and people were staying up till midnight to try to get them because they were selling out and the mega palettes and all of that stuff. I was in on all of that. So it's nice to kind of get back to my original um, makeup roots and to give the Lorac Noir palette a try. So thank you so very much, Phenomenal Personality. I cannot wait to dive in and enjoy this birthday gift. Um, I appreciate you all for watching. Have you tried any of these products? Are there any that I shared with you that you're interested in? Let's get the conversation started down in the comments. Um, if you have not yet hit the thumbs up, I kindly ask that you do so. If you're not a subscriber but you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell alert so that you do not miss any of my future uploads. And also consider checking out videos in one of the playlists related to beauty items and hauls. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, take care.